If you've done your research on the original Blackmagic Pocket, you'd know that the native ISO of the camera is 800. But today I thought I would confuse you a bit by saying that is both true and not true. So how can it be both true and not true at the same time? Well, I'm not making this video to debate whether the ISO 800 setting in the camera is a native setting or not. Blackmagic made the camera and claimed the native to be 800. Whether you prefer to rate it at let's say 400 instead, it's totally up to you. What I mean when I say that ISO 800 isn't the native ISO of the camera, is that the ISO 800 setting on the camera isn't actually 800. In my testing I found that the ISO 800 setting on the original Pocket actually exposes much closer to ISO 400, when shooting in RAW, that is. We'll get to ProRes a little bit later. But before I explain this further, I just want to state that I have only tested one unit, and it is possible that it's just this specific unit. So I encourage you to watch the rest of the video and test it out for yourself if you own the camera and report back in the comment section. But let's get back to my testing that led me to this conclusion. First off, we have my light meter. When exposing to a correct exposure, according to the light meter, I would expect 18% grey to appear as middle grey in the footage. For Blackmagic film on the pocket, that would be 38.4 IRE but the footage came in at around 28 IRE, appearing to be about a stop darker. So I tried again, but this time changing the meter to ISO 400 while leaving the camera on 800. And this time we get much closer with the grey card, sitting just above that 38 IRE mark. This was tested both with and without a speed booster, and if a speed booster was used, the exposure boost was accounted for. But at this point in the testing, we have two different devices and we just know that their way of rating ISO is different. It could very well be that the light meter's calibration is off. And that leads us to the second part of testing, bringing in other cameras. I have confirmed the accuracy of the meter with both a Panasonic GH5, a Pocket 4K and a Pocket 6K, all of which agree with the meter's way of exposing and rating ISO. And when we compare the original Pocket with the GH5 or Pocket 4K, we can see this once again. If you've seen my in-depth comparison videos between the original Pocket and the GH5 or Pocket 4K, you might remember that in those videos I actually compared the ISO 800 of the Pocket to ISO 400 on the GH5 and Pocket 4K. And this is the reason. When giving the cameras the same amount of light, using the same aperture and shutter, but leaving the original's ISO at 800, while the 4K or GH5 is set at 400, we get a pretty close match in terms of exposure. Leading to the conclusion that the ISO 800 setting on the original Pocket actually exposes closer to ISO 400. And the reason I say almost is because it isn't exactly one full stop, it's more along the lines of 0.75 to 0.8 of a stop. But since matching the original's ISO 800 to the 4K or 6K's ISO 400 will get them within 0.2 stops of each other, then I think it's fair to say it's about one stop under. And this is consistent across the ISO range of the camera. Every ISO setting is about one stop darker than advertised. ISO 400 exposes like 200, ISO 200 like 100, and so on. But we're not done yet, there's more. What if we want to shoot in ProRes? Well, then none of this applies. Just before I shot this video I did a last test to get all the correct numbers and I decided to also try it out in ProRes. And for some reason the camera exposes the image differently if you change from RAW to ProRes, even if all the exposure settings are the same. The exposure actually matches up if you're shooting in ProRes. So what does this mean in practice? Well, if you're shooting RAW the following applies. If you expose only using the monitor on the camera and the built-in exposure features, nothing really changes, since you will be judging exposure according to the camera's rules anyway. Just remember that the camera isn't as sensitive as it claims if you're shooting in lower light conditions. If you're exposing with a meter, this means rating the camera at 400, while leaving the actual setting on the camera at ISO 800. Of course confirm this with your own meter as well. And if you're using the camera as a B-cam to a Pocket 4K or 6K and want to match exposure between the cameras, 
remember that the ISO 800 exposes more like ISO 400. So if you have your Pocket 4K at its native ISO 400 and a 2.8 aperture, you can set the original to 2.8 as well, instead of stopping down to T4 or using one stop of ND, which would be the case if the ISO 800 claim was accurate. But if you're shooting ProRes only, ignore everything you just heard and keep shooting. If you want to mix and match ProRes and RAW footage, however, keep in mind that they do expose differently. To match the ProRes footage, the RAW will have to be lifted about 0.6 stops in the RAW settings, if exposed with the same settings. But once again, I only own and have tested one unit, so please, if you have one and have the possibility to test it out as well, it would be awesome if you could report back in the comments section telling us if your camera behaves in the same way. But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see some more, and I'll see you next time.